Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. Yesterday's video uh, about telemetry, there was so much information packed in a small video that it, it raised a lot of questions. So we need to break the telemetry video from yesterday up in a few sections. So that's what I'm going to do now. This section in this video is going to be what I'll call the, the old school way, the TM-1000. And I would only recommend using the telemetry, which you can see your battery voltage, your temperature, your RPMs, plus X bus sensors, only if you have a transmitter such as the DX7S or the DX8, the silver transmitters, and you're not planning on like upgrading anytime soon, then the TM1000 setup could be suitable for you or the TM-1000 could be suitable for you if the receivers you use are like not smart ones for sure and you're not using uh, a gyro. If you're just using uh, an AR-8000 or, or this is an AR-610 or a 410 or something, no gyro, just a simple receiver and you're not planning on upgrading anytime soon then the TM-1000 setup would be suitable for you. <clears throat> In order to use a TM-1000, and a TM-1000 is the doorway to deliver the telemetry data to your transmitter. And the only way you can use this is if your receiver is data capable. And where your bind plug goes, it'll say bind data. If you have bind data in the number one slot, then a TM-1000 will work for you. So I've got a zoom of installing the TM-1000 and binding it to the DX7S right here. Excuse the, uh, the filming. In order for me to get a clear shot of this transmitter screen, I've got to use my phone and it's got to be zoomed down in a small area but you can see what's going on and you can and you can follow along. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to bind the AR610 to the DX7S by itself. And then we'll take a look at the screen of the transmitter and you know see what's on the screen. And then we'll plug the TM1000 up to the receiver and then we'll bind it. Then we'll see what's on the screen of the transmitter. And then we'll add an XBus sensor which all I have is a flight pack uh, energy sensor, which this shows the amp draw out of your battery while you're flying. So this is a good idea to see how fast you suck down your battery. This is good for testing. You know, if you put a motor in your plane and, and plane in your plane, and uh, you want to find out if uh, the, the size battery you have is good, then you can fly for a minute and take a look at your. Uh, at your amps left in the battery and you can see what it's consuming. You can see how many miles per gallon you're getting but how many uh, volts per, per minute I guess or milliamp per second. So that that's good for, for that kind of deal. And telemetry is just fun. That, that's all it is. It's just another dimension of the hobby is what it is. Before this came out or before it became affordable for everybody we didn't have any of this and, and we flew just fine. But so it's just it's just fun and just another another part of it. So here we go. We're gonna zoom in and we're gonna bind all this stuff up. Demonstration number one is gonna be with the AR610 receiver all by itself and the DX7S transmitter. And then we're gonna bind to that and take a look at the screen on the transmitter compared to when we add the TM-1000 into the mix. All right, so we're gonna power on the transmitter. Then we're going to power on the AR-610 and it's on that quick. Those of you that uh, may not ever have seen a regular receiver with no gyro or anything when you turn them on they're on it's it's that quick 
okay? Now, rolling the scroll wheel should show different screens on the transmitter. And there's no other screens to show because there's nothing in this receiver except for the channels that it can deliver. That's it. All right, let's uh let's uh put the TM1000 into the mix so we can see the telemetry. So what I have here laid out in front of us is our AR610 receiver and one servo just to show that uh the transmitter is uh bound to it and controlling the receiver. Then we have the TM1000 that we spoke about in yesterday's video about telemetry. If you want to see uh, battery voltage, RPMs, temperature, and XBUS modules, and you're using receivers like this, as long as where the bind plug goes, it says bind data, then you can use a TM1000. And the way you go about doing that is on the TM1000 in the bottom right, it says data. That plug will go to a servo style connector and you will plug that into the bind data plug on the receiver like that and the setup we have is this is a temperature probe you can wrap it around your your lipo battery or around the head of your glow engine whatever you want to see the temperature of then it has a y connector going to voltage you can see voltage on anything you want I have it set up on a simple plug to read the packed voltage of this 3S battery. There's also another plug right here. That plug is for RPMs. This is a brushless motor RPM device. There's the plug that would plug in right there using a brushless motor. You just connect these two wires to any two wires out of the three on the brushless motor. Then you can see the RPMs. If you want to see the RPMs from a glow engine, then you would have to get uh, a separate magnetic RPM uh, sensor, which I don't have any of those. And then that gives you the three, there, there's three uh, telemetry that you can see directly from the TM1000. That's temperature and volts and RPMs. Now, because you're using the TM1000, it unlocks the flight log and the receiver voltage that's inside this receiver, but it can't go from this receiver to your transmitter without the TM1000. So now we're gonna have flight log, receiver voltage, lipo pack voltage temperature and rpms if we had a brushless motor in the mix or a magnetic sensor for a glow engine so we've gone from the data plug on the tm1000 to the bind data plug on the receiver and when you bind this there's a bind button on the side of the TM1000 right there and you press this bind button with something small to push the button in when you're powering on the receiver. So I'm going to try to hold that in and then I'm turning the switch and now you can see we have the TM1000 flashing plus the receiver flashing. And I'm holding my button down while it's binding, and I hope we're not too close. And it's bound. 
So let's get set up here. I'm having to use a smaller camera that has zoom for this transmitter here. Okay, so we can see the screen there. There's our pack. Here's our temperature lead and the servo so we can see what's going on here. Let's make sure we're sending the signal and we're not. I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna hold the transmitter farther away like we're supposed to. Everything's flashing. I'm holding down the button, turning on my switch right now. And the screen is saying binding, binding. DSMX, 22 milliseconds, telemetry. I just let off the bind button. See the servo moving now? Okay. You have to you have to be a couple feet away. That's just how it goes. We we tried. We tried. Okay, so the TM1000 is hooked up in line off of the AR610. You can see the servos moving. Now look at the screen on the DX7S. Before when we rolled the roller, nothing happened because there was no other screens to be displayed. So the first screen that we have is... That's the main uh, telemetry screen there. That's just showing what you have. So we've got our pack voltage is 11.4. There's no RPMs because we don't have an RPM sensor. We've got 73 degrees off our uh, temperature sensor. We have 5 volts even from the uh, receiver voltage. Our uh, little battery pack here. And you can see the F and the H for fades and holds of the flight log. Roll the wheel one more time. There's the flight log showing all zeros, so the signal's good. It hasn't been interrupted at all. Roll it one more time. There's another telemetry screen. Like if you're flying and you want uh, that screen there with, with bigger numbers so you can, you know, glance down and look at your info real quick we'll roll it again this is your minimum and maximums so as you're flying you'll watch these numbers change especially in your uh, pack voltage you know longer you fly that it'll or you or you give it full throttle then you let off your your minimums gonna change and, and your maximums will change and you can clear that uh, so I'll tap clear right now and it chained, or it cleared, but it went right back. If we had a motor in, uh, you know, hooked up, we could watch the voltage drop down. So receiver's five, the temperature's 73, pack volt's 74, we'll roll the wheel again. And that's it. That's all of our telemetry screens right there. So that is with the TM1000. And one more X-Bus thing we can throw in the mix. Hang on. This is a flight pack uh, energy sensor, and when you're flying, you can you can see your milliamps being used out of your battery. This is X bus. X bus plugs into the side of the TM1000 right there, so we can plug this into the mix. So now we have everything we saw on the screen plus the pack voltage. Now, or, or the pack uh, milliamp usage. Now it's not going to be on the screen right away because we have to go to the telemetry screen and add it. But we'll, but we'll just, for grins and giggles here, we'll go back through it. And we're not seeing pack voltage, all right? So let's turn the receiver off. We'll turn the transmitter off. 
We'll hold the scroll wheel down and power on so we can get to the menu at the front here. And we'll go down to telemetry, tap. Now we need to add the pack um, milliamp usage. So number four is empty. And then we'll scroll to find what we have here or what we added. And it might be in a diff in an another uh, might be a number five if we can't find it in four. Yeah, amps. That's what it is. So I just added amps to the mix. All right, transmitters on first. I just turned it. I just uh, powered up our system here. It's not going. Hang tight. Okay, I just had to hold the transmitter away to to power it on. So there's the there's our servo moving. So we know we're back in business. So we've added the flight pack energy sensor to the X bus on the side of the TM1000. So let's roll our scroll wheel now to the right, and you can see we have our volts, RPMs, temperatures, flight log. That main telemetry sc screen that we saw before. Now we have our amps. So the X bus sensor that we added is now on the screen of the transmitter. There's nothing there because there's no battery plugged into it. If you did have a battery, if you did have a battery plugged into it, it would be showing data. But you can see we added an X bus sensor to the uh, to the mix. Okay. Well, I hope that uh, helped a few folks out. Gave you a little bit of entertainment if anything else the next telemetry video that we'll do and i'll probably squeeze this in before we do our next uh intermediate uh section we'll do what telemetry data you can get from a receiver without the tm1000 still on the uh, old school if you want to uh, if you're using a dx7s or a dx8 and what telemetry data you can get without the tm1000 so that'll be the next one. Plus, we'll do some cost. Uh, I'll try to find some of this stuff for sale on eBay and uh, also on like Horizon Hobby, you know, full price. And we'll, we'll just kind of compare a few things. So that'll be the next one. This is, uh, prices and uh, without a TM1000, what you can see. Okay, guys, hey, thank you so much. If you're new to this channel, uh, subscribe if you haven't and click that like. That helps the YouTube uh, algorithm out, and that helps me with the subscriber count going up. And when the subscriber count goes up, that keeps me doing this. So everybody's happy. Okay, guys, hey, thank you so much. And uh, until next time, you'll see me here.